and welcome back to the Austin Talks podcast where today or well, yeah today we are talking about Stranger Things 4 that releases tomorrow yes yeah um and for those who don't know uh Stranger Things airs tomorrow if not it will air or will we'll, I'll see it on the Saturday I'm I don't know because I've uh, I, I, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, but I have a big list today. I did not write it down in my booklet, but I did write it on a Google Doc. So, and um, so yes, Google Docs is very um, 2022 right now. And so, so yeah, I just want to get straight into this because I it's been three years. Oh well, yeah, three years and a no, two years and a bit. Uh, since we've had uh, some Stranger Things. So, for those who uh, literally have not watched anything in, uh, since then, here's a little recap of Season 3. Uh, Billy Hargrove was the person that was, what's his name, infected by the Mind Flare. Um, the, the thing had a lot to do with rats. Rats turned into this big globby monster. And... Uh, they and the mind flare infected a lot of people, but Billy Gra- Billy Hargrove was like the main main uh, guy. He was eventually killed off uh, by the mind flare or the spider monster because the mind flare got its own uh, physical form after that. And um, yeah, that's practically a recap. But and then also it was shown that Hopper died which obviously he didn't if you've kept up with uh regular thingies if you've kept up with regular strange things channel but uh it, the, one funny thing is it's actually they've been for the, like the last say three years you have, yeah two and a half year two and a quarter two and three quarter years they've been releasing a load of bunch of clips for season four So the fact that they've been doing that over three years, let me quickly say, Hopper Returns, as uh, as I said in my last video, I have my phone again, Hopper Returns Season 4, where was that video, yeah, two years ago, so it was two years ago, oh yep, and I've just seen another, I've just seen another image of this specific person, Uh, so uh, yeah, so what happens is, what's happened is, he's not dead it showed he died but he is not dead he is uh in russia he is uh and i'll get onto that in a bit uh in a little bit but yeah so in the season shown in the trailer we have two new characters that i can see of um apparently one of them's not new but one of them i literally do not remember i will go over him today but i know he's actually been uh there before He's been there before. So, and the two new characters is Eddie Munson. I, in the trailer, I literally thought he was the, um, he was the mother, just looking at a chessboard. But it was actually Eddie Munson, who is a diff- new character. Don't know who he's played by, but he's now part of the Hellfire Club, which is actually the name of the first episode. And the first, f- how many episodes will be released uh, this today? So, tomorrow even so how many episodes of stranger things four will be released in volume one if it's nine episodes and then they're doing another one me okay You've got seven episodes releasing in the first one. That's then. But there's usually nine episodes in volume two. Then. Jeez. Uh, oh right. Okay. So that's nine plus seven is sixteen episodes. Jeez, that's new. There's sixteen episodes. 16 episodes and i remember someone complaining about how long each episode were they were like a regular movie so how long are the str- 
Stranger Things 4 episodes. Please, can someone tell me? Hey, but there are. Huh? What the heck? Right. Okay. I'm not. To whoever is complaining out there, I won't be. I. I'm not surprised. Right. This is literally of the Stranger Things page, so this is true. Stranger Things 4 episodes will exceed 60 minutes in length. There will be a couple of hour and a half episodes with a and a final 2.5 hour episode. Literally, that is what... So what they're saying there is one of the episodes is literally a movie and is worse than Multiverse of Madness. That is literally what it's just told me. So how many, how many hours? This is going to be hilarious. 13 hours, geez, that's 13 hours, I'll never get back, I'm joking, that's going to be very, those are going to be very good hours, jeez, oh, I'm not, I'm not, okay, I can, I can realise why people are upset, but, more stranger things, since when was there a problem with that, um, but, yeah, so, new characters, it, the new characters are Eddie Munson, he's the, one of the members of the Hellfire Club, who will be a frequent, uh, person in this, in this series, as like one of the new members because like say yeah, yeah this is actually correlation so every season we have a new member first season it was obviously 11 second season it was max third season it was maya maya Hawk? no that's the actor robin <laughs> jeez now we have eddie munson so yeah that actually makes sense so we have a new person this season yeah okay all right um yeah, and then the second one, the second new character is everyone's favourite creepy boogeyman. Creepy? What's creepy? Creepy boogeyman, Vecna. Who the heck is Vecna? And we'll get onto that in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to uh, tell you this. I do not know who Vecna is because if you go onto the Stranger Things website, it tells you nothing. It does a bit better than uh, most, because like majority of the time they'll leak it, but they'll not make a page. They have a page for Vecna, but they've literally got nothing said. Um, and I'll read up on what it said as well, just to be safe. Um, Vecna. I, and I just want to say, I said this in my last podcast as well. Oh my lord, yep, okay. Yeah, you look at another image, it's still terrifying. Mm-hmm. If I find an image terrifying, I think I may struggle with the actual season itself. Anyway, let's uh, try and find the Stranger Things, please. Stranger Things. Please. Right. Vecna. Vecna Robotics. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Vecna Fandom. I swear if it gives me some mythology. And it gave me mythology. Damn it. Um, mythology. No, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, this is literally what it said, and it was updated April twelfth. It says status alive, obviously, because then there would not be season four. He was born unknown. Thank you. Residence upside down in Hawkins. So obviously, he's gonna be. Yeah, I gathered that one. Other relations. 11 in brackets, enemy. I thought that was a relationship for a minute. Affiliation, the upside down. Again, I'm not surprised. And then agenda, male, obviously. Eye colour, grey. I'm going to see in a bit palish blue, but hey. Um, and uh, yeah, he seems to be a very... And he's not even got a confirmed actor. Which means that's another, um, like, surprise. Because, obviously, they like to do that. Hair colour, none. Yes, the man is a balding... He looks like one of the... If He looks like the Ood from Doctor Who if they actually had a face. That's literally what they looked like to me. He looks like to me. Uh, yeah, so here it says, Vecna is the main antagonist for the upcoming fourth season of Stranger Things. He is the, his actor is currently unknown. Well, that's not true. They do know him. Just, um... 
the character behind the scenes section the character was officially revealed on april 12th 2022 by the show's official trailer yep duffers had named a horror uh, antagonist freddy krueger the pennywise and pinhead as a primary inspirations for vecna concept and michael mayer that's not maya mayher m-a-h-e-r um worked uh, with the duffers to develop vecna's design well literally that's not wrong because um freddy krueger the face was pennywise actually i don't see a relationship there pinhead don't see a relationship there either freddy krueger is like the only person that actually looks at that because of the face the face is awful it wasn't cremated but it's, it still looks awful actually we don't know if it was cremated we don't know about this character whatsoever anyway um then it says production wanting to pay homage to the first season and return to practical effects the effects for vecna were 90 percent practical of course makeup artist barry goer what has previously worked on game of thrones and chernobyl i'll get on to chernobyl in a little bit i think i may need to write that actually you know what let's write it chernobyl relation just to not um forget that later then uh, it says worked on game of thrones and chernobyl creation for the prosthetics for the vecna the vines protruding from vecna's back of cgi cgi right if the if the vines weren't cgi i would be worried because that must hurt going into someone's back <laughs> just preferably i don't want vines sticking out in my back i really don't um right trivia and it says according to millie bobby brown 11 beats vecna in the season oh, i should probably shouldn't have said that uh, uh, 11 beats vecna in this season meaning she gains her powers back and possibly makes her go back to her hawkins hopefully because we love a bit of hawkins and yes even though we are still and we still look at the mind flare still terrifying to this day where's the demogorgon in that image oh there it is right here we go uh let's uh off the off the uh, information now so now i'll go on, i'll get on to the actual vecna um uh, what i've just realized in my document i put who is vecna and what will she mean because vecna i'm not trying to be rude here that does sound like a woman name and I, I actually think in mythology or Dungeons and Dragons, it is a woman. That is, li I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, so I would not know anything. Anyway, so let's go on to Jim Hopper. Um, so the new storyline arc for him is he's like an undercover, not undercover, but he is a um, <clears throat> person that is working for the Russians, not by uh, things, but he's also uh, helping ex be like a helping the lab lab pet to help with uh the experiments on the devil gorgons that's what i got from the trailer and what i got from the end of last season anyway so um so like i like how hopper's got now more of a yeah he had a bigger ro had a big role but this is gonna leave more mystery and a lot of um like and especially with them being longer you have this time you have the time to be explaining all this uh which i i like because it's definitely and this is not it's stranger things is not the only thing that it does it does tend to do a lot of um not explaining i will literally summarize it with the in with within one sentence and that's not like one sentence with multiple commas that's literally one whole sentence with maybe two commas um but uh yeah um I, like with the russians i don't actually think they know who he truly is i think they know that he's an american because they said oh, leave the american um so they know he's american they know the russians and the americans at that time did not like each other that's what i got i literally could be waffling here i'm not too good with um like this kind of history i'm good with tutors i'm good with uh the uh the uh what you call it the black uh the black civil rights thing i'm not good with this i'm good with jack the ripper this is literally the only area 
that I do not know. Anyway, um, so it's obvious that they they had um negativities, but then they don't actually know it's someone special to who Dustin uh, uh like. By the way, my two favorite characters. I hope they both get good. They they're good characters in this series, but my two favorite characters is Dustin and Steve, the dynamic duo. Um, <clears throat> my favorite line in season two is like, "Hey, the heads." Uh, uh, um, he said, "Hey, the heads. This can someone help me with this random bar? We can lose in forty-five minutes. Let's go." Okay, let's go. All right, a hole. So, um, yeah, like, uh, the, the, and it's Dustin who said the uh, whole word. So I was, uh, uh, <laughs> their banter is really cool. Kind of summarizes me and my brother. Yeah, anyway, let's move on. Because la- the last couple seasons, in season two, we were introduced to Erica. Erica, very sarcastic character, reminds me of Missy from... Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, reminds me of Missy from uh, Sheldon, a young Sheldon, which is my most addictive show ever. I've rewatched it three times, maybe for a fourth, and I literally, even though I may know the lines off by heart, still love it. But when not, we're here to talk about Stranger Things, not uh, Young Sheldon. I should really do a, a podcast on Young Sheldon, shouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, then it's sort of. I was going to read the next line, jeez. Uh, so Erica, she was like a very, I think we only saw her like once in, uh, what do you call it? In uh, season two. Then we saw her a lot more in season three when she was being captured by the Russians. When she was captured by the Russians and was helping Dustin, Stephen, and uh, Robin. Uh, by the war. By the way, I literally only figured this out. I just want to say this. I only found out that uh, what's his name? What's it? Ethan Hawke was the uh, what do you call it? The um, father of Maya Hawke. Uh, like yeah, there's actors. Say getting getting Mother Razo for uh, it's, it's the thing. He has a, a mother named Heather Mother Razo. There is an actor named Heather Mother Razo. Like. I, <laughs> Don't blame me. Don't like like. Oh, you should have known that the last both the last name. Like, like, I don't know everything, and also that is just mad confusing. Anyway, so Erica will pro- um is obviously getting a bigger part because we never actually saw her properly in the season three trailer. So obviously, seeing her in the season was not exactly the uh, what's it called? Um was a surprise but she didn't have a big role so i do think in this season she will have a bigger role to do with uh what do you call it like say lucas or say dustin and bring the whole quad back squad back we have steve harrington uh robin what's her last name robin I keep on thinking of Maya Hawk, but obviously that's that's the actor, not that's Robin Robin Buckley. Is that the one? Yes, it is. Robin Buckley. Wait. How is that an older photo? Huh? Okay, I'm confused anyway. Um, yeah, so she is uh, played by... Um, she, she, so it's, yeah, Robin Buckley. So, like, Robin Buckley, Steve Harrington, Erica Sinclair, Dustin Henderson. Like, bring them all back together. I did like their time on screen together. And uh, their banter was just like... Um, say, to, uh, afraid to lose to a uh, course to a tenure... T- t- I don't, I don't know. Anyway... Um, scared to lose points to a 10 year old kid no I just don't know Jack about Prometheus <laughs> anyway um, yeah so I'm happy that she's getting a bigger part and um, she she deserves it her character is quite uh, uh, funny it's like, it's like when my mom finds you down here she is going to rain hail on your uh, world 
much what I don't care about Uncle T about Tina or Uncle Jack. Your mother's not gonna be able to find us down here when when we're stuck in a Russian elevator miles below the mo uh, uh below the um the place. That that I found funny. I have been watching them, so I don't qu don't say that. Uh, that you don't know that like oh he's sad to remember them i literally watched it yesterday do not judge me anyway um and also it's a now we'll get on to the juicy bit which is to vecna um vecna is the new character and the new antagonist looks more i don't i think we should do comparing like who's worse mind flare or vecna i think i need to see the uh the show first because when the mind flare infests Will, uh, that shadow, I'm pretty sure we have to get a new sofa. Because I either had booed it or peed it. I'm joking, that's, that's sarcasm. But, like, that's definitely what happened in my mind. That's definitely something that happened in my mind. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yeah. So, Vecna is um, a very terrifying, like, especially when he goes... It's time. Then it opens the uh, eyes. I'm like, hey, but he's terrifying already. And what's what's really uh, funny is I went. I was uh, like, the, both times I watched the trailer. The both times I watched that trailer, uh, like the first eight minutes as well. Then the trailer. I was watching them at night, and I couldn't. I watched them again in the morning, but well, not again. I watched about three seconds of each. I watched the second one. They're both in the morning because I was there. Like I ain't having nightmares just because I decided to watch Stranger Things. And I swear, my parents say, and like um, like uh, after dinner, do you want to watch Stranger Things? Do you want me to stay out to the crack of dawn? No, uh, preferably not. So uh, yeah, not the best idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, so. Yeah, and also, I'll get on to the first eight minutes, because I have something to say, because it links with Vecna. This is my theory. Um, so, Vecna, it, um, he's a very viney person. Very viney. Uh, he, he, he's obviously the leader of this, the Upside Down, and he can also control these, what are they called? Um, bats? These, uh, these deep demo bats. They're like demogorgons, but they're bats. That's what I got at when I saw the trailer. But that house is Victor Creel's house, if you didn't know. And I'll get on to Victor Creel now. So Victor Creel is a very, um, I think he was a, I don't know what he is. This is why we're on Wikipedia, or fandom, really. Victor, Victor Creel. What is he? Oh, he's a man. To what? I'm confused. What, what does he work as? Occupation? Yeah, okay. He's a psychiatric patient. Wait, what? Oh, he's a patient? Oh, right, okay. So he is apparently a patient at uh, the men mental hospital. And I am. Um... <sighs> Oh, excuse me. Right. What I think is Victor Creel... So that house is on Victor Creel's house. And there's this scarred uh, eyes thing with uh, Victor Creel. I think that's actually due to um, something that's happened in, uh, like, in this hospital. And, uh, yeah. So, and also, Ve Vecna... I think is actually the leader of the whole upside down but also you notice in the trailer max was the one floating and in the trailer when his hand his very creepy hand is freddy krueger type hand was creeping around max was running away so i think max has some kind of upside down ability the same as eleven did but she can't control it, but not, it's, it's going to be temporary uh, as uh, well. Um, but I hope it's temporary, but also 
I do like Max's character. Max uh, definitely should have more meaning after last season. But also, I think because of this upset, she is at the Billy. If it, you didn't know, she was at Billy's grave when this happens. So, obviously, Billy's grave also has a fragment of the upside down. So, this also does bring some, like, because Vecna, uh, Ve Vecna, no, Max and Billy have some connection. So, that would um, make Max a very important character. Uh, yeah, that I just had to say that all. Uh, Victor Creel's house is where, yeah, Victor Creel's house. I don't need an advert. I don't want to buy a load of US stocks. Yep, called it. I knew that was Victor Creel's house. Um, and apparently, oh yeah, oh no, dear. Um, so she, oh he, he, Victor Creel, Cr Victor Creel's house is the way up to, um, like the way down to even, Miss, uh, uh, is the way down to up the upside down. And also, the family, no, not the family, there's always been a clock in this house specifically and apparently clocks are going to have a very very um what not the word e not the word easy but link not no not link either like meaning that's the word it's gonna have a lot of meaning into this because the victor creel house is apparently like it's either victor creel is a no it couldn't be because victor creel says how many times can you say that Victor Creel is said to be appear in one episode. That is it, and I think that's when they're scavenging the house. We see that maybe those black black eyes, because that was terrifying. Um, but I think it's that's his inhabitants. But his host, Be Vecna's host, will try either be Max or it will be. It can't be Victor Creel. Well, it could actually. It no no like. Vecna needs a host, right? Yeah? America. Don't don't think I should be. Don't know why I'm singing that. I don't know whatsoever why I'm singing that. Um. So. So it's I don't know Vecna's host. I'm I'm gonna take a guess because obviously it's not gonna be. Uh, Victor Creel, but he's going to obviously take that house. But I do think it's he is the uh, what do you call it? He is the inhabitant of that house, and a clock's going to have a very big thing to do with it. Is uh, to do with this because he also he says it is time, and also he there is a clock in the very first trailer. So time has a lot to do with this, and I'll get onto this next bit time gap the time gap between this believe it or not is six months and this is not like a hot like a couple years thing this is literally let's say six months after the battle of star court ball so this means that this is what has ever happened with vecna has happened quite soon so like and you have 11 have a uh, new life in uh, 11 you have it has a new life she's gone to California but obviously she's gonna need to be called back shown in the trailer with um, the doctor he knows that there's a problem he's trying to address it she doesn't have a powers depression <laughs> hashtag depression so again why does time I, I have quite a lot of theories for this why does time make so much sense in this right and i'll tell you why because it's such a short time and uh vecna has always been a part of the mind flare yes this is my uh this is my literal thoughts i think she he he even is a part of uh like in he's a descendant of uh no, it's not a sentence, it's a... Uh, what's the word? Offspring, that's the one. Offspring of the spider monster. Because 
the shadow, the mind flare, there was always a shadow uh, of him. Then there was the spider monster. Only into the spider monster, that was the only real thing, like the real form that we had. And now Vecna is another real form. So that is either an offspring of the spider monster. And obviously Will is going to know about this because of his whole um like experience with this thing um and uh yeah so get, going back to the time he 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 needs uh max because she he is an offspring of billy and billy and max isn't uh like well has a connection mentally with Billy, so Vecna is going to need some power, and it was, so she's going to, she's more than likely going to try and use Max. Ha! Ah, that took a while to explain. <laughs> and yeah, now we'll get on to the more. Well, now I'm going to get onto the more of the detail of Eleven in California. Strap your seatbelts. I am never ever going to say that again. Don't know why I said that. Now, the uh, Eleven, um, Eleven's new life in California. It's uh, in the trailer. It's shown it's not going well. Bear in mind, Will has gone with her, uh, because obviously, what everyone wants to get away from Hawkins, because it is that she's a hellhole for everyone. Um, so, going back to uh, Will, like going back to what's it called? Going back to Hawkins is obviously going to be traumatic for her. If she's tr just trying to get used to California, she's a uh, you kind of need to come back. Oh, come on! <laughs> that, that will literally be her. Um, but no, and also another thing to... Uh, no, sorry, I said to get to that later. Um, t the... the uh, there's something about Eleven. Uh, like, what, she's, she's tr trying to... It's hard to get her, for, like, friends... Cause she's like, oh hi. No one responds because she's the new kid. I can tell you, it feels awful being the new kid because you are treated awfully. <laughs> yep. Let me come out, lad. Yeah. Why? Um. And uh, yeah. So Will Byers is trying to guide her as well. She, he's obviously a friend because they've known each other for a while, a long time, and. What, obviously, I think like what in this like now day and age, whatever is her business is his business, and whatever is his business is her business. Um. So yeah, and also at the end of the season, I think what's got rid of her powers. I don't remember. Wait, how did she lose her powers? Will that be revealed, or has that already been said? And I just don't know. Let's go to eleven. Right. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. She's fifteen. Oh yeah, cause then but yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um. What's it called? It's, by the spring, eleven has re eleven has recently. Um, Eleven has recently moved to California with the buyers, is adapting to a new school and new life. While she gets viciously bullied by her classmates, she tries to keep her head up. She writes letters to stay to in touch with her boyfriend, Mike, back in Hawkins, who is on his way to spend spring break with her. Okay. Um, how did she lose her powers then? Three months later, before moving out of Hawkins with the buyers, Eleven and Mike made plans to visit each other and thanks at Thanksgiving while also professing professing her love for him. Okay, I do. Oh, oh, here we go. Um, amidst, um, oh, amidst um the ensuing fight of the mind flare, Eleven lost her powers. Right. And follow and following the apparent death of the virus, she was taken. Oh, okay, right. Okay, sorry, I did not remember that. I had to read it, so I didn't. Um, it, so she lost her powers trying to fight the mind flayer. I'm not surprised that thing was hella big. <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, so she's obviously trying to adapt. It's not working. Being new kid sucks. <laughs> and I mean, being in California is uh, just. I, I couldn't see myself living in California at one bit whatsoever. 
Um, I, I, could I see myself living in America? Yeah, I could probably see myself living in Texas. Um, yeah, so now obviously the new life in California is not going well, yada, yada, yada. Then, a week ago, we had a bit of a, um, we had a first minute, eight minutes clip. That is nothing compared to what the episode was. Because there's 60 minutes, oh, god damn. The first eight minutes, and I've literally just put on the Google Doc, terrifying. Because I'm not lying. It is terrifying because, and I want to say that I will say this theory in a little bit, but um, this uh, obviously it, it's trying to set the tension. It's trying to set the tension because when you first start watching, uh, uh, what do you call it? This is F- season three. You get the feeling that it's actually not a bad like vibe. It's not a bad vibe until the end of the episode, but the first eight minutes that's they're trying to do the opposite they're trying to put you in a uneased mood so you're like all right you're in if you're uneased now you're in for a shocker later because like season three you went from good to bad then back to good i mean for some not all but this is literally gonna go like this bad even worse and then good um like there's like the, the four stages of um like oh no so you have okay oh no worse and like bad even worse then you have okay that's cool and then happily ever after so there are seven tiers uh, yeah seven tiers to that spectrum seven uh, I really should, I've just read a section on that, and, um, I really should have, uh, uh, oh, I can, I can say something else. Anyway, um, the first eight minutes were terrifying, and I'll break it down for you verbally, obviously, because I do not have editing skills to save my life, um, but, so, he goes to get, grab this kid, and it literally just crossed my mind when I was watching it. When they are riding the cars around that, uh, rainbow, they are all telekinetic, telekinetic or telepa- telepathic. That's the one. Telekinetic something to do with objects. Telepathic. So they're trying to get it in, keep it in the circle with their mind. Cause that was like you can use the your hands with it, uh, like like wee. But there's no way you can do that. Like with one of those cards where it just continues to go in a circle. I completely forgot they're doing that with their mind. Anyway, so. Um, that he takes this little, what's his name, uh, Dr. L- no, Dr. Linklish, Dr. Brenner, that's the one. He takes Dr. Brenner, D- Dr. Brenner takes this little kid into the testing center, um, and, uh, is testing. And obviously his skills are actually not that bad. And, uh, yeah, so I actually have a feeling where the origin of Vector comes from. I think that little kid may be Vector and he has been infected or he is has been um, like an inhabitant of the Upside Down for a very long time. He's been trapped there, so he's now become the leader. I did have one theory. This is my second. That th- that little kid may be Vector. You never know. Because did they give that kid a name? No. No, they did not. So, uh, or did they? <laughs> I could be saying that completely wrong. Let's uh, find out, please. Um, what's it called? Dr. Dr. Brenner. Dr. Martin Brenner. Yes, the guy with a horrible hairdo. Uh, oh, yep. Oh, no, that's the wrong girl. That's Callie. Aha! Uh-huh. Gotcha! J- oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, they've actually not mentioned that little kid. Ha! Uh-huh. Lol. Ha! Uh-huh. Lol. Here's 190 centi- 191 centimeters. Damn. Um. Come on, let's find this. 
Let's find it out, shall we? Oh, come on, I've just been set back to the top. <laughs> right. Um... After the first the premiere of the first season, right, let's let's go back up. That's behind the scenes. I was on the wrong blibbing. Uh, yeah, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Um, okay, come on, come on, come on. Well, I know you're here. I'm going to find you. At one point or another. Oh. Oh, the last thing it says is a. <laughs> Why? Why would the internet do such a thing? It doesn't show anything with Br Brenner or that new kid. Meaning, they have not confirmed. So, I think that little kid is Vector and he's been infected or he has been trapped in the Upside Down for a very long time and he's now become an inhabitant of it. He's like, if I was trapped here, you all will be trapped. And uh, yes, using Max as host. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really make sense now because of Max is now a host of it anyway. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so if the first episode, first eight minutes were terrifying, I hate to see the next 13 hours. Oh, good God. <laughs> 11 goes back it's 11 goes back to Hawkins obviously to uh, do things with Mike to stay in touch to have spring break but obviously that's sent to uh, the bins for temporarily thank you some Vecna it's like I need to go to school today Vecna be like oh I was having fun okay I'll see you after school after school Right, let's go and kill each other. That's l imagine if Superman and Batman played like that. That would be hilarious and class comedy. Um, yeah, I'll probably not finish the next seven episodes because it goes volume one, seven episodes, volume two, nine. I will probably not have finished volume one until volume t and then volume two will be out <laughs> because they're that long. It's like a movie. And I'm like, more Stranger Things, you've lost it for three years, I wouldn't be complaining. Because season five is actually said to be the last season, depending on what they do with that. They say they defeat Vecna, and they said they defeated the Mind Flare. Where did that go? Oh, wait, took us three seasons to kill the thing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, if it took us three seasons to kill a Mind Flare, then I doubt it's going to take one singular season uh, to uh, kill one person. Uh, see, that's what I think. But then again, you have about two hours of each episode. Like, I'll probably put average an hour and a half every episode. That's prob. If you do that, so right, forty minutes. How how long were the episodes then? Um. Uh. Stranger Things Twa. Thank you. So helpful. So helpful the internet is. Season 3 now in production. Nope, it's now season 4. <laughs> Whoa, I've just seen that cover. That look creepy. Um, What are we looking for? The episodes, that's the one. Oh, jeez. Right. Episodes, episodes, episodes. So how long are they? So let's say we'll go with the we'll go with the last episode because they're usually like the the longest because they like to drag everything out. What? Am I mad? Am I mad? I think I am going mad. It's an hour and. It's 17, eight, 18 minutes? What? Um, what? I'm confusion. That, okay, so they're about 50 minutes each time. 50, uh, well, an hour each time. That's, an hour is the max until the finale. But, go to Hellfire Club. The first episode is an hour and 15 minutes. The second episode, which is, Vecna's curse. Oh dear. Oh god. 
all urges. Oh, I've opened this course and I've just seen the, the promo photo. That looks disgusting. That's disgusting. Okay, so the, the first two episodes are th an hour and 15. The next one is an hour and three. Uh, number se number four is uh, an hour and 17. Um, episode um, five is an hour and 14. Episode six, an hour and 13. Oh, jeez, okay, okay, yep, yeah, that was... Wait a minute! That's not the first eight minutes! Oh! Oh. These all premiere on the same day? Yes! Hey! So I just need to celebrate because I've been waiting about a year. So that's actually quite good. If I... Should I do two breakdowns? No, I'm going to do it in one season. Yeah, it's going to be a long podcast. Jeez. So, episode Massacre of the Hawkins Lab. Episode 7, an hour and 38. Flipping heck. Papa. No. <laughs> Just one episode called Papa. <laughs> okay. July 1st, it's all from uh, an hour and 25. Flipping heck. Um, the Piggyback, which is not the final episode. What? Two hours and thirty minutes. Flip it. What? 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 It just said there was going to be sixteen episodes. Huh? I am confusion. I am mad confusion. What? Oh, it's number of episodes. It's still nine. What? Why? Wh why? <laughs> <coughs> that was not a good idea. Okay, well, that's not nice. Um, a new and horrifying new supernatural threat. Oh, let me guess, Vecna. Oh my God, I was correct. Right. Okay, that's kind of boggled my brain. I I honestly thought it was gonna be um what you call it. I thought it was gonna be like sixteen episodes because it said how many episodes is volume one gonna be. It's gonna be uh, seven. Um, uh, what's the back? Uh, the it's jeez. Okay. All right. All right. Right. So. And the new life, and I want to say the new life for the Will Byers. He's um like all the Byers people. Byers has got uh Will Byers in the same school. Uh, more worried about uh Millie, not Millie. That's the actor, Eleven, because uh uh she's not got her powers. She's a bit different, so she he's she's gonna need more guidance because she's never been to a school. That is a lie. She was in the first season. Um, but not very good uh, student. <laughs> Stranger Thing and then, like, Stranger Things, they're trying to build on Eleven's character. That's what they've been doing from the first episode. They build the character. And, uh, yes. Uh, so then, and I think Nancy and uh, Jonathan, I want to predict, this is a theory, and hopefully a hope, that they get, like, get married or they're, like, a couple now. Well, they were a couple in the second one, uh, but they the, the third season. But they were uh, like, I want them to be official, like couples, all that. Yeah. Now I want to get on to what I actually think. My big, big theory for all this: why this is happening at this time. This takes place 1986 before. Uh, like in April spring break because they're off for spring break remember that at this time this was when Chernobyl went off and it th I think what was so bad about Chernobyl is it's the most covered up incident ever um so it's it was a government thing so this the Chernobyl thing like this Chernobyl event could have caused all this upside down uh this new upside down 
No, that can't be true because this takes place beforehand. Uh, but could this could have something to do with Vecna? I uh, put put a loophole within uh, upside down would make it so if you had Chernobyl, because the Cold War, the Cold War was linked with season one, two, and practically three, because I didn't I think no they lasted for that long mainly because I haven't learnt the uh, it yet, but hey I uh, I just don't know this kind of stuff. Two, um, like. Ch Chernobyl is a covered up incident and I do believe this was in Ukraine yeah this is in Ukraine no I'm not I'm not don't quote me on that let's find out so where was Chernobyl um, yeah Ukraine yeah, I've got some good um, geographical memory yeah I hate geography um, so this takes place in uh like the chernobyl incident is in ukraine so of uh, um so this may this chernobyl incident may have something to do with uh this uh, this whole uh issue because remember russia i think ukraine is very close and very good friends to russia at the time not now don't don't start me don't be starting that i know they're not friends now I don't want to get into that because I, I, uh, I mainly don't want a gun to my head or a target on my head either. So, uh, yeah, so that may have some uh, error to do with um, this whole uh, thing. So, and I actually kind of hope that's the case because that's actually quite a good storyline because they've been d linking, d doing this for a while now, like linking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, hist of, like historical history into the series and that time military all that very good ideas thank you Duffer Brothers and a lot of people were asking like is this based on a true story or is it because it's a very weird idea to uh, have Moon Knight that's a character like say Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange, those are characters. Multiverse of Madness is literally a bunch of comics mixed into one. But Stranger Things is a awfully, like, it's a Transformers. That's robots in, like, helping the military. Not so, not, that's not so weird. And then, what's another thing? Um, Harry Potter, a kid that turns into a wizard. That is not, that is normal. That is normal. Or like, for a movie, at least. Stranger Things I've always thought is very obscure. It's a very obscure thing. It, it fights kids. Pennywise, he fought kids. Did he have anything to do with historical history? Nope. Right, um, Freddy Krueger, Fred, Freddy Krueger even, he fought, uh, like, fought against this girl uh, in his dreams. Did that have anything to do with um, a his um, historical events? Nope. Stranger Things does. Now, I want to explain how this actually is a true story, and this is said in an interview by Gaten Madarazzo. He says that it's a, um, it, it was based off the uh, it says government lab in Montauk, New York, uh, where there was rumors going around that uh, they were doing secret spy, uh, secret, like, uh, experiments on them and like Montauk New York in this lab you can actually it's a real place you can go but why you uh, nobody knows why it's locked off because you can't actually go in this place uh, so no, nobody knows and it's the same with the uh, mental hospital or the hospital in uh, the show so it's obviously it's, uh, like they're trying to base it off real truth because this is literally basing off that whole idea. What and the, the question is, what were they hiding? Kids that have uh, t like uh, supernatural uh, like powers. Eleven, Mo um, like different worlds, uh, like that correlate with each other. Multiverse. That is the multiversal theory. Just put into a in a horror film. That is a, literally what it is. So there is a lot of obscure ideas mixed into one logical idea, meaning it makes a lot of sense and it 
makes very good TV that sadly we couldn't get for a year. Huh. <sighs> now sad. Uh, two a year? No, three years or two and three quarters. Uh, that's nine months. So yeah, great. Um, now, now I want to say in the Stranger Things interviews recently, I was watching a Zadie Sink uh, one. She was talking. It's uh, like Jamie Fallon was. He's always one for legs. He wants like he wants the juicy stuff today. Please, can you give me the, some of the stuff? So he shows some images like that. It's Vecna. Can you tell me more about this? Nope. Can you tell me more about the vines? Yeah, they were practical. That's all I can say. What about where he comes from? I thought it was a bit obvious. He comes from the more upside down. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I spoiled it. No. Yeah. And um, at Eleven's obviously, she's, she's blabbed. She said, oh, yeah, I win against Vecna. But is that actually the case? Maybe not. Because what they are literally, this is, as Tom Holland once said, it's like, you've lied not only to me, but straight down a camera. That is essentially what I am paid to do. That is literally the same thing with these actors. They are paid to lie for a living. They, literally. Like, so they, they're play, they play in a film. She's not got supernatural powers. That is lying. See, <laughs> you get my drift. Uh, like, it's not real. Um, yeah, but like, true story, it kind of has error to it. It has the, um, the, the ex spy image, the st spy experiments to fight in the Cold War. Is that happening in Stranger Things? I think so. I don't remember this, li this, uh, this creepy thing. But also, these things are coming from Dungeons and Dragons, but they make them look terrifying. So, uh... Yeah, like it's really um, terrifying, confusing, but also something you want to go back to and uh, see more often. Well, um, anything else to say? Uh, I just want to say also Zadie Zink's quite good at keeping secrets. She's floating in the air, and she says, "Can I?" And, she, and like Jimmy Fallon asks, "Can I? Can you say anything about that?" Nope, I am floating in the air. Nothing weird about that. But. They're good at keeping secrets, and that's what they are essentially paid to do. Because um, obviously there is no upside down. If there was, I'd be terrified. If there's these vines type portals, again, I would be terrified. And also, <clears throat> I want to point something out. The red sky in the upside down. The thunder is the... Um, indicates it's red lightning, because you usually have blue lightning. It's literally the opposite. We have uh, red lightning. But what I'm trying to say is it's always red then. In the area of the, like where Vecna, you can only see his hand, you can, what, what's the word? Like, uh -huh. it's only red, meaning it's either in the mind of Vecna or on the very outskirts or like, junkyard version of the upside down where it's always like red dark depressing it's not dark it's very light but it's a dark place as uh, as shown in the trailers and uh, in the series in general um and in this series you can see eddie munson also doing his guitar i actually think in the trailer that's used as a distraction and dungeons and dragons is used as a uh, thing is like oh Vecna wait that's a that's a character from Stranger Things that's a character from um a Dungeon Dragons then we know how to kill this thing we did it with the mind flare we will do it with this thing and I'm certainly called it the mind flare because it would look like the thing from Dungeons and Dragons and the Demogorgon is same and I do think Demogorgons we're not going to see much of unless it's in Russia which uh, I'm still fine with. I did prefer the Mind Flare though. Demogorgon in the first series of season, yeah, could have been better. Uh, the first season probably my least favorite. Second, actually good. Third, amazing. Fourth, it looks sick. Um, but yeah, hopefully we don't watch any of it at night because I uh, value sleep and I value sanity. Uh, so uh, yeah. Well, that will be the end of today's podcast or number two of. 
Um, I do really hope you enjoy this. I literally cannot wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. It's the end of the week for school. Yes. Get in. Um, but also, I get to witness both of my favourite... Actually, I don't know about uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I've never seen it, but I have high hopes. So, it's, it's going to be a good week. Next week, we should have a Moon Knight and a Multiverse of Madness review. And then... You may have a, the week after that, it will be a uh, all details, a plot, all news details, plot theories for Miss Marvel and uh, Wee Wee. Then the Wee, as I said before, I'll try and fit in the part two for the cooking. And then uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, another podcast that I haven't said yet. But as I said, on the final week before I leave the country, I will release the Thor Love and Thunder thing because I want to see, I will see it when I am there. Uh, so yeah, I would like to make that a bit clear. Um, from the time I'm recording this, so uh, maybe a couple of hours ago, I uploaded my Obi-Wan Kenobi. That will be the pinned thing because it released on the same day. Other than that, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you next week for two reviews, which are my least favourite to do on the channel. (laughs) Alright, bye everyone, have a good day.